We are less than two weeks away from early voting and some candidates are experiencing vandalism to their political campaign signs. It's a crime punishable by law. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada talked with candidates about this ongoing problem. As you see the other signs up on in the area, kind of notice that this is severely damaged. Not something that a um, an average wind of 15 to 20 miles would ever be able to do this. Homer Martinez is a candidate running for place six on the McAllen ISD school board who has had several of his campaign signs vandalized. Some come up missing and others were torn and slashed. So he didn't think twice to file a police report with McAllen police to find the person or persons responsible. Uh, I know we all have a bunch of differences of opinion and, and that should be a strength and not a weakness in our community. But sometimes politics tends to uh, rob our community of a little bit of, uh, of its humanity. Martinez isn't the only candidate experiencing this growing crime. McAllen Mayor Jim Darling has also filed police reports. Some signs tipped over and some was a win, some wasn't. You can kind of tell you're the only sign that got tipped over. And then we had some graffiti. Campaign signs are seen as personal property, so an individual caught stealing them could face theft charges, and those defacing signs could face vandalism charges. Depending on how many signs are damaged or stolen, individuals face a Class A misdemeanor up to state jail felony. It is a crime because you're defacing something, it costs money um, to replace these signs, and so, um, yeah, and it takes time and all those kind of things. I don't think it benefits anybody. Um, I don't think um, one candidate has an advantage over another candidate by somebody else graffitiing a, a sign. You know, it just kind of shows um, uh, poor sportsmanship, if you will. Martinez says this is his 11th sign that has been damaged, and Mayor Darling says he's had around a total of eight vandalized. Both candidates do agree that those committing the crime should avoid the charges and adjust play fair. In McAllen, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And if you see anyone committing this kind of crime, you are urged to report it to your local police.